The previous video on VLOOKUP had a situation where we were looking for an exact match, a county ID, ID matching a county ID. Sometimes you want to do matching that is inexact, or you're looking for things that fall into particular buckets. This is possible if you have situations like a date, or a time, or uh, some other numeric value. Here I have some police call data, and it indicates the time um, uh, that the crime was reported. And I want to identify which police shift that fell into. So what I've done is created a little lookup table over here indicating whether it was the morning, afternoon, or night shift. Notice that I have um, night in here twice. And that's because with time, you have to tell it what to do about midnight. Um, let me get back to that in a second. So what's going to happen here is we're going to tell it, look at this value here and determine, is it after midnight but before 6 a.m.? Yes, it is. Then it would fall into this night shift. And then let's go down a little bit. Here's one at 1130. It's after 12, after 6, but before 2. So that means it's in the morning shift. And that's what will happen. So what you need to do is have a lookup table. And you'll see I have mine right in the same sheet. That's perfectly fine. You could also have it in a separate worksheet. Or you could have it in an entirely separate workbook as long as it's open. Um, because this one's small, I thought this would be the easiest way to go. And what you do is you, you put in your the start time of each of your buckets and then whatever label you want to transfer over to your data in the second column. Um, notice I put night in all capital letters here just to show you when it's going to hit that bucket versus when it's going to hit this bucket. Um, we'll fix that in a minute. So we're going to say VLOOKUP. We're going to tell it, look up this time that's in I2. And then we're going to tell it, here's our, our array. And remember, you need to lock your array using dollar signs. So dollar $m, dollar $n, or four, dollar $n, dollar seven. And then we need to tell it to pull the second column over. And now we want an inexact match. So we're going to use or an approximate match. So we're going to use true at the end of this. And that's really the only difference compared to the previous video where you looked at a basic if statement. So let's copy this down. So you'll see these all fell into that bucket that I labeled with a capital night because they are after midnight. But let's look and see. Here's the ones that fell at night. Those hours right before midnight get picked up by this bucket. Um, so uh, if we if we didn't if we went to put this midnight on there, it wouldn't know what to do with the midnight to 6 a.m. Um, so because it splits because our time shift splits. If you had a situation where yeah, when it whenever it crosses midnight, you gotta tell it what to do with the midnight. So if I just quickly change this to lower proper case, all of my instances over here will switch to proper case. Um, so the as again these this these buckets need to be something that's numeric or time or date. That's the only way you can do it. Um, otherwise, you have any anything where would anything else would have to be a exact match.